Brands delivering re returns to farm gate. I've just got a few notes here because this is a new version of presentation. Um, we're a very unique company. Uh, as Richard said, we were formerly known as Certified Australian Angus, uh, Certified Australian Angus Beef Proprietary Limited. We changed our name last September to Certified As uh, Angus Group Proprietary Limited. We did that for one reason and one reason alone. We also have a brand called Certified Australian Angus Beef and it causes confusion. And it's also a mouthful when you answer the telephone. So we, um, we have three core business streams within what we now call Certified Angus Group. They include our two brands, Certified Australian Angus Beef and Angus Pure. And then thirdly, our Angus Breed Verification Services. I'll get a little bit more into these, into these each of these areas in a moment. Our brands and services tap into exactly what Jason was talking about, and that is maximising on markets, looking for traceability, locality, and raising claims, including breed, such as Angus, HGP, antibiotic-free, and whether it be pasture-raised or grain-fed. So that is primarily what our business does. It's interesting in that our uniqueness comes down to we do not own a single animal and we do not sell a single animal. We are a brand company. We own the specifications, we own the IP, that is the trademarks to the brands, and we put those into industry uh, uh, under supports, quality support systems in order to create a brand from, for a processor or for an individual company in terms of supportive, in support of breed. Importantly, it is important to note um, that Certified Angus Group is owned by Angus Australia, the um, breed society for Angus in Australia, and the members are the brand owners. So that is, that is why we do what we do, and it's to create value at the other end. Certified Australian Angus Beef currently puts in about 100,000 head per annum. It's a grain-fed product, fed for a minimum of 120 days. We do have another program Within that, it's a 200-day program, but so as not to confuse the domestic marketplace, that program is only exported. We don't like to have two specs sitting on the domestic market because our brand is all about being consistent. If this brand is consistent and it consistently delivers, then people will consistently buy it. Um, it is produced to eating quality specifications. Whilst it is un underpinned by Meat St Standards Australia grading systems, on top of that, further quality specifications are placed on the product to ensure that the product provides consistency through further ageing of product than MSA actually requires. Um, it is again verified for Angus Breed by another company that we'll talk about shortly, which we own, um, Angus Breed Verification, which provides breed verification services to the industry. So the financial crisis and the Australian dollar, as Trish was saying, we took a pretty hard hit when the Aussie dollar went through the roof and the bottom fell out of the US market, to put it very nicely. And we, um, we found ourselves in the interesting position that US for 12 months didn't buy a kilo off us. Keeping in mind that we are a high-end brand, we operate in the high-end market, so our product is more expensive. Um, but the US took bucket loads of trim and what we do with our trim is we make sure in order to utilise carcass, we put it in the high end category. So if we sell trim to a pizza maker, it's the top pizza in that category. If we sell trim to a burger maker, it's the top burger in their range. So that's how we position our product and that product disappeared from the US because there just wasn't the money there to buy the product. So it saw us take a big hit. Um, equally at the same time, it was a bit of a perfect storm. Japan decided it didn't want to buy our beef anymore either because it was too expensive. And um, now we're two years down the track and it's looking up. So Japan's biting again. The US is taking quite a lot of beef. Not so much grain fed, but a lot of pasture fed beef, which we also have a brand for, I'll talk about in a moment. And, and it's looking up and up. Our biggest problem in our projections for the next five years is where the hell are we going to find all the cattle and black ones at that. So our value to suppliers for this brand in 2014, and this is obviously to Angus suppliers, 
was 270.7 million, that is returned to farm gate. So I'm not talking about how much we put on a boat or how much was paid for it from the processor because that's not, that's not the, the topic for discussion. It's how do we return value to a producer and that was our value return for this brand in 2014. So if we then go over to Angus Pure. Angus Pure is our pasture fed brand, it's only a baby. Certified Australian Angus beef is 20 years old. Angus Pure is only five years old and is already producing 80,000 head per annum. It's pasture fed whole of life. It's an antibiotic free product. It's HGP free and again produced to eating quality specifications underpinned by Meat Standards Australia. Um, the brand position for this is also the top end of that market, but again comes back to product claim and product story. We, we know where it's come from, it's fully traceable. We take, we take DNA samples of every carcass processed for both brands and store for traceability should they be required. We, um, we position it in the, the high end and the same with the trim from this product in order to ensure that value can be received. Um, interestingly for this product, domestically it's, it's not readily available because Safeway in the US takes almost entirely all our production and it's in every store on the east coast of Safeway in the US. So with Safeway re recently purchasing Albert Albertsons on the west coast, we find ourselves in a little bit of a pickle where we, um, we need more cattle once again. Obviously a very different type of animal, but more of them. Um, the outlook is strong for this product with the Aussie dollar down and the US buying in and really buying in hard on this HGP antibiotic free type animal. The prospect is very solid for this brand in the overseas markets. And equally, we've had a lot of interest from Korea. So, um, Domestically, obviously, is our domestic supply is our challenge because this is such a wonderful product. We want to get back available domestically, and very little of it stays here at the moment. And um, and that and that's our challenge for the next few years. How do we make it affordable in Australia for this product? Um, verification. So this little logo and I haven't put the other logo on there, which was remiss of me. There's one that says Black Mac Angus Beef, which is used exclusively for McDonald's. It goes on the end of cartons at abattoirs to say that, that there is a system in place in that abattoir, an audited system which we provide, that verifies that that beef is of Angus parentage and is traceable throughout the supply chain. So this third-party verification for breed... Sorry, I should have told you two previously that the value to suppliers of the certified Angus, of the N Angus Pure in 2014 was 67.1 million. Third party verification for breed provides this to a assurance to a customer and a further a value to the producer that's producing this product that they're producing a product that somebody wants and is in demand and hence is getting a premium price for this product in the marketplace. We're seeing in on sale yard type cattle, 15 to 40 cents increased price on other breeds with other, other factors in play, including past, how long they've been pasture fed for and if they've had a HGP or an antibiotic. So if they tick all the boxes and they have and have not had, then obviously the price sneaks up. But this is exclusive, exclusively for Angus and it is week in, week out in every sale yard. Um, it's used by other brands and Angus beef resellers. So yes, McDonald's use it, but again, what I was talking about is we're pushing it to their top range. So it's trim going into McDonald's, but their Mac Angus and the Bill Drone burger range that they're launching, etc., is their premium offer. So we're still positioning Angus as the premium product in that line. Uh, we do it for other companies, including Rangers Valley, Bindery Beef, Jack's Creek, uh, Manildra Meat Company, Australian Meat Group, Thomas Farms International, Tees Australia. Everyone is seeking for their products to be verified to give that customer assurance. And equally, 
wipe out because there's such a there's such a demand for the Angus product and such a premium paid wipe out the competitors that are calling it Angus and not buying Angus that are getting found out because they have no third party verification backed by someone owned by the breeders of Angus in Australia that that product is in fact Angus. Um, this, this verification service has been operating for about eight years, primarily firstly for McDonald's. It was developed for McDonald's and then of course every other company said we need a third party assurance. So we started offering the service outside of McDonald's. Um, and in 2014, for the year, 642,480 head of cattle were verified for this program. That amounts to, on a, on a trim of 30 kilos per carcass, 1.8 million kilograms per month, or on, a, on 60 kilos taken from carcass being primals, 3.2 million kilos per month. So it's... Um, it's quite a force for the Angus and it, and it continues to deliver the Angus promise to the industry and that is that you get what you're paying for. So in summary and trying to keep it sweet and on my time limit I talk pretty quick so hopefully I'm ahead is um, it's owned by members of Angus Australia uh, that is certified Angus group. CAAB provides a member owned grade fed, grade fed brand in the marketplace and Angus Pure provides our pasture fed option in the marketplace. Verification so services are ensuring Angus, Angus producers receive the benefit of the breed and customer receives the truth in labelling they deserve and we see that there for these brands there are real growth opportunities domestically for our pasture fed brand and equally growth opportunities overseas into Korea, the UAE and the US for our grain fed brand especially. Uh, in, and I'm pretty sure that's me in a nutshell and that's what Certified Australian Angus Group does, so thank you.